I'm caught up in your presence God, I just wanna sit here at your feet I'm caught up in this holy moment I never wanna leave No, I'm not here for blessings Jesus, you don't owe me anything It's more than anything that you can do God, I just want you Well, I'm sorry When I've just gone through the motions And I'm sorry description box below if you want to shop they're only 25 bucks um well i think the study bible is 30 but you know somewhere in that range um but it's been super helpful and um as you see i read the scripture i start reading the books on my phone first i usually will use my regular bible so that i can go and highlight physically and things like that but we got a special guest today and uh, he likes to rip stuff and so I just don't want to take the risk of him like ripping a page or something like it's not that I don't care about this but this is not real Bible this is just the uh, commentary like it has the scriptures in it but you get what I mean you get what I mean so I, I'm okay with taking the risk with this but I didn't want to take the risk with my Bible Bible um anywho we are studying Luke um and so I'm in Luke chapter 9 right now and it's just really been good it's like relearning i'm like relearning a lot of different things and everything like that and this this commentary bible really does help uh break things down as you can see i was listening to the bible on the bible app so i like to read and listen at the same time i don't know for, for some reason i feel like my brain it's like if you're somebody that struggles with reading the scripture because especially i either read an esv or kjv or KJV and so sometimes KJV can be a little you know and I try I try to read in KJV because it's closer to the original but it can be a little so when you put on the person talking I feel like it helps me to interpret a little bit better as I read along and then now having the commentary I think it breaks it down even better um, with the use of the Holy Spirit to kind of give you some sort of wisdom or whatever. But into me, I woke up this morning and that girl visited me and yeah, it's kind of unexpected. It was, but it wasn't because I, now that I think about it, I don't know why I was about to cry this morning because Jay got out of the bed earlier than he was supposed to. It makes sense now. But it is 9.01. We're going to the time. We have church at 11.45. Y'all, something super crazy happened. Not crazy, but like, I guess you could say encouraging happened for me this week. One of my favorite YouTubers, Sunny, well, her name is uh, Tia, but y'all probably know her as Naturally Sunny. Um, uh, she subscribed to my channel a few weeks ago. And now that I went back to the notification, I'm like, whoa, she commented on a video and I did not even see that either. Um, I suck at getting to comments. Like, I really do. <laughs> but 
I was watching her vlog the other day, like I always do. And as I'm like moving around, I'm like cleaning up and things like that, I hear her say, no, I hear in the background me saying Royce. And I'm like, what? I thought the kids was watching my YouTube video again or something. And then I realized it's her. You get the point. That was so encouraging to me. I, I know, like, if you are a content creator, you know, like, sometimes you just, like, kind of contemplate, okay, am I in the right? Am I doing the right thing? Am I in the right field? You know, I felt God called me to YouTube for the last two years, if I'm being honest. And I was extremely disobedient to it because I was like, well, God, YouTube don't pay me. <laughs> I've made a bulk of my money and I get paid more from Instagram. Well, Instagram don't pay me, but you get the point. Brand partnerships pay me and it's been paying me for a few years and it's like, hey, Lord, YouTube ain't doing it and couldn't check, okay? And I've ran away from it for like two, three years. And um, this year I finally said, I'm not playing games anymore and I'm not being disobedient. Delayed obedience, delayed obedience is disobedience, you know? And so I finally got on it. And you know, staying consistent with it is hard because you see absolutely no fruit. Like you see no reward. Like it's like harvesting something and watering it for a, a year or however long it's going to take and it don't even sprout just a little bit. You get what I'm saying? Like that's how it feels sometimes and I'm like, you know, am, I'm on the right path. Am I doing the right thing or not doing the right thing but is this wasting my time? God, did I hear you wrong? And I feel like it was confirmation that like, you know, I'm going to put, like God told me like I'm going to put you in front of the right people at the right time. I'm going to um, expand your territory at the right time on my timing not yours and it's like now I feel like I I feel this like really really good piece about YouTube and just like using it to give God glory of course and like just God will not be made a fool he promised something he's going to execute on that promise you know and that was just super good that's super cool, super cool, super cool, super sweet. And y'all, for a large influencer to do that for such a small influencer like myself, she a real one. Sunny, you a real one. Let me tell you about your real name. Tia, you a real one. <laughs> um, because I have had large influencers follow me. Like, I've, I have a lot of larger influencers that follow me. Not to, like, flex or nothing like that, but just kidding. Um, and I've actually had a few of them like steal certain things from my page and like content, redo it on their page or redo it on their YouTube and never shout me out. Like, and it was so funny because I sent it to my sister and my friend and they were like, wow, remember so-and-so doing this? Like, and it's like, it's just redemptive. $25. So I ended up coming across this TikTok of this girl putting some clippings in her hair and she was like $25 Amazon clippings. I was like, obviously they're synthetic, but that's okay because they're clippings, you'll take them out at night, whatever, and whatnot. And so I hesitated trying it, like buying it for like a day. I was like, let me ask Jay what he thinks because. <clears throat> I know he likes blonde um, hair on me, 
But I didn't know about this shade of bronze. So I was like, let me see what he thinks about it. He's like, I, he said, I think it would look good. So, <clears throat> I ordered it. It comes with four clips, three thick clips. However, I did have to add some of my like older, the, the black ones that I've been using for the last couple of weeks because my hair is obviously a little bit shorter. And so in order to hide some of my hair, like right here and stuff like that, um, I just wanted to make sure that it blended and it didn't look too like, you know, ratchet. So y'all, I'm always sweating after I get ready because I gotta get the kids ready. It's always something, but it's, um, yeah, so I ordered it. I only used like a total of maybe five of my clips, like five of the two piece clips. And honestly, on this side, I only have one of the blonde clips on this side. So I think it really did its thing. I have one of the blonde clips on this side, and then I have like three of my black ones on this side just to blend it in more. And then I have the two biggest clips in the back mixed in with like two more of my black clips or whatever and i think for 25 bucks it's doing its thing heard that once you straighten them they don't get back curly this is how the natural curls are so i will not be straightening them because i actually like the the body that comes from these um uh but once you straighten them there's no getting it back curly because synthetic hair obviously but they're so cute but it is 11.33, so it's time for us to leave. We're always late, like I said. <laughs> and um, I figured out what I want to do. I'm I placed an order at Crate and Barrel for some stuff in the kitchen that I've been wanting. Um, <clears throat> and I've been like pushing it off and delaying it. But I need to go pick that stuff up. So after church, we're probably going to go to Crate and Barrel. We'll see where the day leads. But like I said, Jay has to go to work later and whatnot. So. I'll see you guys later. Thank you for the days. Thank you for the ups and the downs. Thank you for the ways. You keep your loving around. All right, we are back home from church. We got Chipotle for lunch and honestly this is probably gonna be dinner because i don't know i don't know if it's my period that got me like out the game but for the, like the last week i've barely been eating i feel sick obviously i'm not pregnant because i'm on my period um i don't know i was just telling jay i think my body is just calling me just do more for it health wise and so I definitely want to start prioritizing that and everything like that I picked up my pickup order but then I went inside to see if they had this item that last vlog I was telling you guys about whatever crate and barrel that I want to in the Avalon didn't have the color I wanted this one had the color I wanted. Now we'll get into it later about something else, but they had it nonetheless. I bought it because I really liked it, and we've been needing it in our house for so long three years to be exact. And I just kept pushing it off because I'm like, it's not an item we use every day, but every time we need it, we don't have it. And, um, yeah. Anywho, I'm just gonna eat. like half of this and then save the rest for dinner i'm off socials today so i'm not on instagram or anything because i just simply want to take a break like i feel the best let me not say it because i feel like i've left the stage of instagram and tiktok or any of those things depressing me but i feel the most creative when i'm off of social media and so I need that like break in time to just sit and just like think for myself and everything like that so I was wondering if that was for me you want it? I did you took my drink from that to get a drink <laughs> 
No, I asked you. The one I asked you. I don't want cranberry. I asked Jake to bring me a cran apple from work. I brought me home a cranberry and an apple. And I was like, what happened to cran apple? I know they have cran apples. But he bought one of these. Right. And then I see him today drinking my cranberry juice. And I'm like, I thought that was for me, so I just took this damn thing in. Alright, love you, baby. Um, but yeah, I see him drinking my cranberry juice. I'm like, so I just took this Sam Pellegrino. Yep. Cardi's about to come in here, and I know I'm gonna have to share my food. And now I'm gonna go through all of this to find the beans and the rice just for him. Hey, big boy. Wanna eat? <laughs> They're mine. I bought a second pair. Okay, I want to do a little bit of an unboxing of some of the stuff we got. Or I got. Um, so I was telling you guys last vlog that the last crate and barrel had what I wanted, just not the color. Um, and what that is is. It is the snake coaster. Why do you go sit down? Why do y'all care so much about a daggone toaster? Y'all not using it. A smeg toaster. Now, if you know me, you know I absolutely love the snake brand. I have the tea kettle. I have the citrus juicer. I have the blender. What else do I have from them? I have just about everything. The only thing from them that I would say was a nay was the blender. Um, and I think maybe I got an effective one. I just don't feel like it's strong. The, the blades are strong. So like blending things are always extremely hard. Um, if it's not a lot of liquid in it. And I just feel like for the price, it should be better than that. But as for my tea kettle, I got my tea kettle three years ago. Three years ago. Still looks brand new, still works amazing. Um, my citrus juicer, I've only used it a few times, like I wanna say maybe 10 times tops, because obviously it's a citrus juicer, you're not gonna use that every day. But amazing if you wanna juice like your, let me show y'all. So, if you wanna juice like lemons, um, oranges, obviously this is my, I wouldn't whip this out just to juice one lemon. This is like if you try to make fresh orange juice, fresh lemonade, which the kids actually been asking me to make fresh orange juice, so maybe we'll do this soon. But yeah, I have this one and then I have a few of, of their other stuff. Now the toaster, the reason why I've contemplated for so many years is because it's like, do we use the toaster often enough? Like all of my stuff, I don't really use this often enough actually, so that's kind of contradicting, but. Um, my teapot, use it every day, multiple times a day. I warm up Carter's bottles, not warm up his bottles. I make his bottle with boiling hot water and then put them in the fridge and stuff like that. So, teapot uses, I use it all the time. This one I don't use as much, but again, I've had this for like two years. Still holds up, still works amazing. And like I said, the blender, I still use it. It's just, I don't think it's worth the price. Um... I'm not gonna unbox it right now because y'all probably I'll probably unbox it tomorrow. No, y'all probably won't see it. Go to Instagram to see the unboxing because I want to do the unboxing for Instagram. But I ended up getting the matte white. So all of my other stuff, like you see, is gloss white. But see, this CB2 only had the matte white. Obviously, I could have ordered the gloss white. But if I'm being honest, the, the matte white was actually really cute. Like really cute so I'm not complaining white is white the only difference is one being lost one not being lost so it don't bother me but to each song so the matte white and if you want to see that in person if you want to see what that looks like y'all can go on my Instagram because by the time that's up by the time this is up that's all right so glass bowl thingies or bowls or whatever and I got them because I like to have our sauces on the side. I usually always get the kids like a little, I don't know if I have it. Here it is. I got these from Anthropology about two years ago. And anytime we do things, something with sauce on the side, cause they don't like their sauce on top. Anytime we do anything with sauce, I always put it in one of these because they don't like, like sauce all over their stuff sometimes, most times. 
Um, but that one is so big, I was like, I just need a little smaller. So I got these little sauce dishes. So cute, and they were only $2. So mad because I found this glass cup, and I can't wait to make an iced coffee in it. But there was only one left, and I would ideally, I like to have at least two, like a matching pair. But there was only one left, but look how cute it is. So cute. He said though, um, that online it showed to um, not put it in a dishwasher, only hand wash it. So I need to tell my husband that because he quick to put everything in the dishwasher. Um, but it's so cute. And it was on sale for seven bucks. So that was cool. Carol's pickup order. Like, why'd you give me all these boxes for me to individually go through and open it? Like, why be lazy? Why not wrap them up? Like, they did these, they wrapped them up in these. So I don't understand. And y'all, if y'all ever go to Crate and Barrel or CB2, save these little things. I save all mine because like a year or two ago, the lady told me that, um, that that's the same material that's used to like on the towels to clean mirrors and stuff. So I clean all my mirrors and glass with those wrappers. I have a bunch of them. She gave me a whole bunch of them. <laughs> so yeah, let me get these open so I can show y'all. One night I was sitting in the bed and a video idea came to mind. And so I went down this rabbit hole of finding like info for the idea. I ended up going on Pinterest and I see certain, and I was like, this is gonna fit the video. I wanna get more creative on YouTube. Like I just, I don't want it to just be vlogs. I want it to just be like an outlet for me, a creative outlet. So I seen this and y'all look at this. It's a ramen bowl. I already have chopsticks. I have gold chopsticks um, that I bought when we first like, came up here, probably like three years ago. But it comes with wooden ones, which I like, so I'm gonna keep those. But how cute is that? So I bought four of these because obviously there's only four of us that would be eating out these bowls. My kids are pretty good with glass. They're, they're, we have had some accidents, but for the most part, they're good with glass. So. No issues there. I got these to go with them. So cute, so cute, so cute. I'm so hyped. I can't wait to like film that video, but I also can't wait to eat. Cause look at that. Are those glass or plastic? They're glass. They're the little spoons that go with ramen. Like when you go out to eat, like be for real. This makes me want to be home all the time. <laughs> I am home all the time, so I, I feel like I have to be comfortable. I don't leave. I don't go anywhere. <laughs> so this is my version of like taking care of myself. But that is so cute. Got four of those as well. I don't have any uh, mixing bowls in our house. I have two like big circle bowls, but they're like eating bowls. So I finally invested in some mixing bowls, and these are glass, of course. I love the white. And they came with five pieces in there, which I think is great. Um, so I'm hyped for these. This is all I got from Crazy Bear. Unbox any more of these because I want to save it for Instagram, like doing the real. I'm trying to like get better, get back at posting on Instagram. I keep taking breaks because Instagram honestly annoys the hell out of me, y'all. If I'm being full transparent, like engagement to like just the app itself forget the engagement because i'm gonna post regardless but like the app itself is just like ugh. then you got people that follow you that you know don't really like you like it's just it's so like ugh. i don't know how to explain it but i'm gonna go online and see if i can find one more of these in order because my like ocd is gonna want to see two on the show we're gonna do 7 30 bedtime I just feel like I need a whole relaxed night. So I'm gonna like do skincare tonight, like full skincare, all that good stuff. I need to finish editing a vlog that needs to go up for tomorrow, make a thumbnail for. I just think I'm gonna do that for the night because I am cramping, I'm annoyed, I'm irritated, I'm tired. I'm just lazy right now, so. See y'all in a few. Yeah. Holy Ghost, I'm so grateful, God, you know you did the most, when you created her for me, 
Lord, you know, I have witnessed your glory, all this favor you show me, when you gave it to me, I had to learn what to do with your blessing, now I know, that a man who finds it, the wife finds a good thing, so every time I think of her, I'm thinking, when I give my love to her, I'm thanking you. Loving her like Christ, lot of church, cause you told me to. Yeah, she a missy on your glory. Sometimes it don't feel like I'm worthy. But I'm under your coming, it's so ain't worried. I'm just thanking you. When I think of her, I'm just thanking you. When I give her love, I'm just thanking you, married and in love, I'm just thanking you, 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 when I think of her, I'm just thanking you. Camera battery died. Anyways, um, the first day of my period, you know, first day of periods are just always hard. Um, so I always try to do like a full self care because it just makes me feel better. And of course, I'm always drinking hot tea on my period because... <laughs> I don't like taking medicine unless I absolutely have to. Like, I have to be in excruciating pain for me to take medicine. While it fixed one problem, it's doing damage to another. I don't know. That's my theory. I'm sticking to it. But, ooh, boogies. But anyways, first day I always do a really, really intense self-care. I have some more things, but I just didn't feel like bringing the camera in the bathroom. And then the last day, I reset as well. So, this is the first day. I'm about to... Lay down on Carter, put him to sleep. What I do now? Put him to sleep, do some work, and then I'm watching a show called um, The Rookie on Hulu, and I love like crime shows and like, just like detective stuff, and I love The Rookie because it's kind of like Bones. If you guys ever watch Bones, Bones is really good too. I've watched every season three times. <laughs> uh, I really love Bones, but The Rookie is like every Episode is a different episode, so you can kind of hop in and Carter, no baby, you can kind of hop in. He just sees my cup, and that's what he's like eyeballing. Let me get him. I hop into the rookie at anywhere, but I started the first season. I think there's like six seasons, maybe more, um, and I'm like halfway through the first season. So I'm gonna edit and watch that, and then call it a night because my husband just texted me and told me he got to work overtime so he won't be back till tomorrow afternoon I hate that so much <laughs> like they'll just randomly like have to stay um, but it's okay it's okay I'm gonna be all right I'm gonna be a big girl but thank you guys so much for watching I really hope this video adds value in some way shape or form who knows okay who knows um, but do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe because it helps your girl out and um, it just helps me to know, engage, if, you know, I'm on the right track, should I create anything different, whatever. I'm kind of just doing whatever I want right now, but. Can you say rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, scissors, says shoot. <laughs> Straight up, no. Okay. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.